Just last month, country legend Naomi Judd died, which came as a shock to all. Prior to her tragic death, the singer long lived in a family estate located in Tennessee, which was a beautiful farm property on a thousand acres of land. At the end of April in 2022, the music industry was rocked by the unexpected death of country music legend Naomi Judd. What's more, her passing came about only one day before she and her daughter Winona were set to be inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame for their work as the Judds. When we started out, we were on the same little old rinky dink bus. Yeah. Well, Pops played the bass and drove the bus. Winona and her accomplished Hollywood actress of a sister Ashley Judd would both manage to find the strength to attend the ceremony following the tragic death of their mother, where they reminded those in attendance just how much she meant to her fans and how much they meant to her in turn. My mama loved you so much and she appreciated your love for her, your esteem for her and your regard for her. And it was your affection for her that did keep her going in these last years. And please come see Pop. Only a few weeks prior, Naomi herself had been on stage at the CMT Music Awards where she seemed to have been in great spirits and even discussed hitting the road for a tour for the first time in nearly a decade. The toothpaste is out of the tube. It's happening right this minute. Uh, we're touring together. Stranger things have happened. But weeks later, Naomi would be found in her sprawling Tennessee farmhouse after taking her own life. This was the very place where she'd lived since the late 80s and where her daughters each owned their own individual homes on the property. A thousand acre estate known as Peaceful Valley. Prior to this horrific discovery, this had been a place for love and healing, somewhere the Judds could work through personal issues and spend time together as a family. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment. And if you've ever wanted to take a look at Naomi Judd's longtime estate, Peaceful Valley, we're going to check out what we know about the place. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. Before we dig into Naomi's family estate, first a little bit of context for the events to come. After giving birth to her first daughter Winona at the age of only 18, by the time Naomi's child was a teenager, these two would attempt to take over the music industry as a mother and daughter duo with a couple of sensational singing voices. Prior to finding success in music, Naomi, alone with her two daughters, was living in a one bedroom apartment and surviving on food stamps while working as a cocktail waitress. But once they became the Judds, everything changed. In 1983, Naomi and Winona skyrocketed to success with their first hit single, Had a Dream for the Heart. But only eight years later, Naomi would have a bombshell dropped on her. She was diagnosed with hepatitis C, a life-threatening illness for many if not treated properly. In fact, at the time of her diagnosis, Naomi was given a three-year lifespan, which meant that it was time for the Judds to come to an end. The duo's farewell concert was the most successful musical event in cable pay-per-view history. At that point, Naomi would then retire to a 1,000 acre estate in rural Tennessee dubbed Peaceful Valley. So let's take a look at that spot now. Located in an extremely remote and tiny part of Tennessee known as Leaper's Fork, an unincorporated rural village with a population of just over 600 people, the Judd's family estate is an epic property boasting all kinds of space. Not to mention, some sights and sounds of nature that are no doubt unrivaled by most other family homes. The best look we've ever had of this place is when Naomi gave Oprah Winfrey a tour back in 2016. At the time, the country music legend kicked things off by proudly showcasing her gigantic media room that's honestly way more like a movie theater than it is a family room. And of course, it wouldn't be a proper country estate without a killer kitchen, which just so happened to be Naomi's favorite room in the house. Here, the spacious kitchen was decorated with a round table and chairs set apart from the island. It no doubt provided for the perfect space to cook 
cook some epic family meals. It no doubt provided the perfect space to cook some epic family meals, even if Naomi's daughters could never seem to agree on the same dish to eat. Speaking of family, Naomi wasn't the only one who made this estate her permanent residence. In fact, both of her daughters have their very own homes located on the premises and they were only a short walk away from their mother's front door. Considering Naomi's difficult early life, her struggle to raise two children largely on her own, not to mention her eventual battle with hepatitis C, it's nice to know that when she was here at the family farmstead, she always managed to find peace especially when it came time to visit their on-site lake, a location that everyone found to be completely magical. What's more, because the village they live in is so small, the Judds were almost never bothered by anyone when they were seen around town. A local resident who was asked about their presence wrote, For the most part, I think everyone respects their privacy, but whenever I've seen them at a public event, they always seem more than willing to sign autographs especially Winona. We see Naomi out and about the most. Unfortunately, that will no longer be the case. Before we bring this video to a close, let's dig into the tragic passing of Naomi Judd. We've already discussed Naomi's hepatitis C diagnosis from the early 90s, which forced her into early retirement. What we haven't talked about is the fact that she actually beat it. She got better. It might have hepatitis C, because it is going to kill four times more Americans than AIDS will in the next decade. Overcoming a life-threatening illness is one thing, but triumphing over a lifelong battle with depression is something else altogether. As mentioned earlier, Naomi's life has never been easy, whether it was Winona's father assaulting her and then leaving her alone pregnant as a teen, or even the assaults she suffered earlier than that as a child at the hands of her uncle, Naomi would battle depression throughout most of her adult life. In her darkest days, Naomi even admitted that she had contemplated suicide. During a promotional tour for her 2016 book, River of Time, Naomi would describe how this disease affected her by telling people magazine, nobody can understand it unless you've been there. Think of your very worst day of your whole life. Someone passed away, you lost your job, you found out you were being betrayed, that your child had a rare disease. You can take all of those at once and put them together and that's what depression feels like. Sadly, Naomi Judd finally lost the battle. A few weeks after her death was announced, Ashley Judd appeared on the Good Morning America and revealed to the world that her mother had taken her own life with a gunshot. What's worse, Ashley was the one who found her. Just a firearm. So that's the piece of information. You know, if we don't say it, someone else is, is going to. The day of the event, Ashley had been at Peaceful Valley to spend time with her mother at her request. When a family friend came by to visit, Ashley went to let her mom know she had a guest. But when she entered her mother's bedroom, she discovered her body on the floor. Stairs to let her know that the friend was there and I discovered her. It's a truly tragic and heartbreaking end to a woman whose life meant so much to so many. It was made all the more tragic by the fact that the disease she was battling prevented her from realizing this fact in the first place. The one bright light at the end of all this misery is now Naomi's life will end exactly the way it should have, in celebration. Country Music TV will soon be hosting a special titled Naomi Judd, a river of time celebration to honor this legend's life. What's more, Winona Judd has announced that she's going to honor her mother's tour dates through 2022 and bring her mother's life to a close exactly the way she would have wanted it to end, on stage in front of an adoring audience. Alright guys, that's going to bring this latest house tour to a close. A bit of a different episode this time, but Naomi Judd's story was simply too compelling not to share. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on this video and her peaceful valley estate in the comments below. Thanks for watching, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you all in another video. Bye! Bye.